So, uh, what's up, guys? It's right here, Binding the War Quadrant. If you guys didn't know, with the Season 3 Reloaded update, there was a bunch of store bundles that got put out onto the internet. And Call of Duty themselves let us know that Tim the Tapman, which is a very well-known streamer in the, you know, in the gaming scene and everything, as well as Nick Merckx, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard of, who was really huge during Wars of One, as well as Nick, both got their own operator bundles coming later this month on May 31st. And uh, Nick actually showed up his bundle on his stream, and so did Tim the Tatman. Tim the Tatman went really in-depth with how he describes his operator bundle, and I thought I'd show you guys my reaction to his whole operator bundle. It's very in-depth, and you know I'm going to explain it as it goes along, and let me know what you guys think about the bundle. It's going to be for 2400 COD points, and this is my reaction to what he put on his stream. He'll probably put like a video on his channel probably later on tomorrow or something of the cases, but definitely drop a like in the video subscribe and turn on those post notifications i'll definitely be copping this bundle on may 31st as well as nick Merckx's bundle and these finishing moves that that tim has is freaking crazy hope you guys enjoy okay so here we have tim the tap man reacting to his operator skin in game and honestly he looks pretty freaking clean they they said he said that they did a full like body scan on him and they made sure to get all of his tattoos on his arms which i think is really cool Plus, he has like the Kevin plushie on his backpack, which I think is so, so freaking dope. He also showing off his finishing move here that he got, the Tat Man Tactics, which is... When you guys see how he shows it off in a private match, it's actually beautiful. But here's he's showing the, the whole operator skin to the side. They legit show off his, uh, his Penguin plushie. I have a Bear plushie, by the way. So, hey, if Call of Duty ever wants to do a skin on me... I got a bear plushie to be in the backpack. We got the big baller brand and everything. I just, I, this is so dope, man, because this means more creators are going to be getting uh, operator skins or operator bundles or at least something special attributed towards them. And starting off with uh, Nick Merckx and, and Tim the Tatman is actually really dope. And I hope we can see this as more of a commonality within the Call of Duty community because it's been way too long since they've done something like this. Uh, he's also showing the guns that he's got here. So the first M4 in his bundle is the Gatman, which is the M4. It's, it comes with tracer rounds, comes with these attachments, and it's a Warzone build because he plays Warzone, obviously. So you're going to have to like definitely switch things around. And all of the symbols on the gun are from his tattoos as he shows off with his hands there, which is pretty dope, honestly. It's animated in the sense that his little T logo on the mag actually fades in and out, which is pretty dope. And when you apply mastery camos to this weapon, uh, it only affects the tattoo. So the whole white tint of the M4 stays on there. And I think that's a pretty dope design. He told them to, to do that. He had like a really, it sounds like hands-on experience with the developers as they were developing the bundle, which is such like like a dope thing to do. That was That's how I would definitely like try to carry things myself. As you can see there, he has Kevin stickers that he attributed to, uh, to having stickers on. He said he might have gone to decal, but he didn't show it off. Or maybe it was just a sticker and not a decal. Either way, though, uh, W Kevin sticker, man, if you're, if you're a fan of Kevin. Uh, moving onwards, we also got the, uh, what else he's showing off? Oh, yeah, the T. He's showing off the T and how it fades in and out, which is pretty cool for an animation. And then right here, he's showing off his uh, charm, and he ended up getting a stack of waffles as his weapon charm. <laughs> And he told him to do that too, which I think is kind of funny. I've always been more of a pancakes dude myself, but French toast over everything, personally. And then uh, he wanted to show off his tracer rounds, which is, just, which is like yellow and purple. And apparently you can see like his logo bouncing off of the tracers, but it's really hard to see. I think it's going to be like the ghost tracers where you have to be very, like, you have to slow down the footage in order to really see it. And I'll definitely, you know, show you guys with like higher quality whenever I'm playing the game and i can show you guys how it looks like but still should be some dope tracers and then next up he also got a lockman sub known as the taddy fatty as he calls it and it's actually his own warzone build that he uses a hipfire warzone 2 lockman sub build so it's going to come with his attachments his tunings or whatever the case is and it's the same concept all of his tattoos on the lockman sub and when you put camos, it's only going to affect the tattoos and not the white base of the Lockman sub, which I think is pretty sweet. It should look pretty solid with solid color camos. I kind of wish he showed it off with solid color camos just to see how cool it would have looked. But um, yeah, and this also has his logo on the laser, which is freaking insane, bro. Like, imagine another creator like myself, like with the H-Hero logo on the laser. 
that would be like a dream come true. Like I can only imagine like Nick or Tim here uh, being so. I always get their names confused, like Nick and Tim, because their names are so close. So sorry if I've been saying Nick uh, this whole time, but Tim has got to be cheesing so hard. Also, his T is on the mag and it fades in and out just like it was on the mag on the m4 so m4 and lockman sub traces is actually the first lockman sub tracer bundle uh that we're gonna get in the game so this is coming out uh, may 31st and i'm definitely gonna be copping it especially for the lockman sub because it's about time the lockman sub got some tracers and it had to be tim's tracers and as you can see there this is where he mentions that he has the yellow tracers and the purple spark tracers and he has the death effect of snack explosion now this death effect, this death effect is actually pretty crazy because basically when you when you finish the opponents, they explode into a whole bunch of food, and you guys will see that once um he gets it into a couple of games here and shows it off. It's actually really funny and really cool and really unique. Like I really hope they really bring on to more creators because so many creators have like creative ideas like like Tim does here. And I really love the, the concept of this. You know, it might not be like pretentious or like crazy or anything, but it's very simple and it's like dope. I, I just, I like it a lot personally. So as you can see here on Shoe House, you can see the, the freaking donuts that fall on the floor, the waffles and some tacos, I think he said. And once again, you can kind of see it here, but he didn't show the best lighting. So he needs to show it in like better lighting. So I think he went, he decided to go into a private match here. Uh, with one of his homies to more so show it off a little bit better and there you go you got a little bit more uh look and this is like a little like thing in the middle that that drops i believe that little yellow thing unless that's part of the map i never noticed that on shipment and here's his finishing move <laughs> it's legit like a wwe finishing move and also all of his voice lines he actually voiced the voice lines but that finishing move when they're laying on the floor is just so freaking goaded. He legit crushes them with his weight, which is just brutal, bro. Um, and then once again, he's proving the uh, the death effect with the M4. So the death effect works on both the M4 and the Lockman sub, which I think is just uh, kind of dope. And then he's showing how the gun looks like uh, in another player's perspective, which is uh, which is pretty cool. But. Yeah, really dope bundle overall. I just I have nothing else to say. He couldn't show off the final stand uh, finishing move just because he was just like, man, screw it. I don't want to like spend time showing it off. But uh, here we have the Warzone intro, which definitely shows off the operator skins. And Nick Merckx is playing with him. You can get a little bit of Nick Merckx skin right there looking pretty fresh. If you guys want me to do a video on Nick Merckx skin, I'm down to. But Nick Merckx didn't really put too much detail from what I've seen, at least on his YouTube video. So I would have to like go to his stream, but I'm just like, maybe you guys are more interested into Nick's because, or Tim's, oh my gosh, because he really put a lot of work or like input into uh, like saying what it's all about. But yeah, we're just going to leave off with some ending Warzone clips here and a win at the end with their homie Cloaksy. But honestly, W Bundle, this is a really good look for Call of Duty because if these bundles do well, they're going to want to do more creator bundles. So we might see like Swag, Scump other major content creators slash streamers maybe one day you know yours truly i don't know you know i'm not the biggest name out there i'm very small compared to all these dudes but it's awesome to see you know call of duty finally paying homage to people that um you know have grinded their game in the past and you know done the best to elevate the cod name especially during like the wars on one days freaking nick and tim were going crazy during those days but yeah make sure you guys drop a like in the video Subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I upload Warzone 2 Star Wars bundle videos on this channel, Warzone 2 class stuff sometimes, and sometimes news slash update videos to kind of keep things entertaining. It's like 3 in the morning that I'm recording this, so sorry if this is like a little bit low, but I just thought you guys uh, would want to see this. Let me know if you guys are going to be copping this bundle in the future on May 31st, and keep being big ballers. I love you all.